Hi, if you are watching this video, why not be my first subscriber? In this video, we are going to be discussing about Binance mobile application. Earlier, I made a video about Binance web application and how you could transact uh, coins using the web application. But in this video, we are going to be discussing everything you need to know about Binance mobile application. If this is the first time of using um, Binance or you have never used Binance before, and you want to start using Binance, this is the video for you. So all you just need to do is go to your Play Store and download Binance. You type Binance and click on it. The first one that opens, this is the one you have to download. Binance, Bitcoin, Marketplace and Crypto Wallets. So we are going to open it. You'll be required to register before you can use the platform. Make sure every detail you are imputing has to be correct so that in future when it's time to take out your money or send um, coins or make trades, you won't have difficulty withdrawing your money afterward. So as soon as you are done registering, we are going to begin. So I'm going to explain the basic things you need to do. I'm going to make a more detailed video later in future, but I just want to give you a brief summary about how the mobile apps work. So first thing you will notice this human icon over here. That is where you can find everything related to you and your profile. So here you're going to see the Gmail address you use to register. You have tax center, reward center, my referral ID, pay, gift, notification, payment method. So we are going to enter the payment method and we are going to add a payment method. This is where you add your bank account details so that you can um, receive transaction using your Binance, especially if you are using P2P. So that is where you have access to your payment method there. Then you also have settings over here where you can change the currency. So that is where you do that. You can also change the color based on your preference anyone you wish but i always prefer the green and the red because the green means it's going well and the red means things are not really going well so you also have the binance lights right now it is turned off because i like to get more details but in the binance lights you have um few details it is much easier for beginners but i suggest you guys don't use it if you are very new you see you have only limited options you only have the market you have your trading where you can buy sell deposit convert and you also have the wallet where you can see all the coins that you have and how much is available but this is not for this tutorial if you want to be serious about making money you need to leave the easy stuff that's that's too easy so we're going to switch off the binance lights and focus on binance pro this is the one i want everybody to be involved in so if you scroll down you can see what is currently happening in the market you can see there is a six percent loss in bnb today then here you can see the ranking list you can see the hot coins actually these are coins that binance feel are getting more popular so these are the more popular coins in the last 24 hours and you can see the changes in their price over here you can see in the last 24 hours bnb has gone down by six percent and it has also affected many other coins including dodge shiba inu cardona and even bitcoin itself over here you have the gainers this one shows you the cryptocurrency that have made profit in the last 24 hours so you can see there's a 17 percent gain so if you have invested in any of this cryptocurrency in the last um 24 hours you're surely going to make this profit too over here you can see the losses the cryptocurrency that have lost money in the last 24 hours good so in this 24 volume are cryptocurrencies that have increased in volume in the last this means that there are more people investing on it or people are selling their coins so these are all about volumes over here you have the marketplace where you can buy any cryptocurrency that you want 
over here you can just type in the cryptocurrency you want so if i wanted to trade on dodge i just need to type dodge and i can see every available transaction that could be carried out using dodge i can either trade my dodge with usdt busd dodge with euro and different currency even um, bitcoin so whatever um crypto you want to buy you all you just need to do is come to the marketplace and type it even if you want coins like shiba inu you can see them and you also see the coins you could use to trade with that so that's all about the marketplace this is just going to be an overview about the crypto app so that it doesn't get um difficult for you when you start using it so yeah you can see trades in this platform this is where you will be able to trade cryptocurrency this window currently is a bitcoin to usdt anyone you see on the left hand side is the one you'll be buying any one that is on the right hand side is the one that you're actually selling so if i wanted to buy bitcoin i need to have usdt so that i'll be able to buy it good so you can actually switch that in the marketplace by clicking on it so if i wanted dogecoin instead all i just need to do is type there doge and click on it and the page have changed so remember everyone on the left hand side which is the doge now is the one i'm going to be buying but if i wanted to sell it to convert from my doge to usdt so over here this is features features is a little bit complicated but i'm going to make a video about it later in the future about this these features are just contracts telling or buying a coin at a fixed price at a certain time in future so that's all about features but we're not going to get into that because it needs a little bit of um understanding before you get into it so that you do not lose money over here is where you have your wallet here tells you the total amount you have in your bitcoin which is the default value in Binance it tells you how much you have here you have your spots here you have cross margin all these are not necessary so the two most important ones you use over here are your spots and your p2p in using p2p this is where you receive um, money in case you're buying cryptocurrency using peer-to-peer -peer method and as soon as you have gotten your money into the peer-to-peer -peer method you can then move them to your spot wallet which is right over here so if you want to make trades you are making trades from your spot wallet which is here from your spot wallet but if you are receiving money using p2p you will receive it here so p2p is just peer-to-peer -peer. that means you can i can send money to you using this peer-to-peer -peer method is as easy as that so that is all about um binance this is just the basic so subscribe to the channel and like this video be my first subscriber if you're new to this channel then i'm going to be making more interesting video about all this and how to make tradings in the future if there's any parts that i've missed comment it down in the comment section whether you know it or not and i'm going to explain it for you or make a special video for you over here you have a search where you can search anything you want here you receive your notification so that's all for now see you in my next video